here at the Helsinki Trick Festival, and I'm here with Mortelen Sorensen from Ish. That's right. What is Ish? So Ish is a uh, mindful drinking company, and uh, mindful drinking might be be new to some, but mindful drinking means that we are mindful about what we consume. Uh, especially when it comes to alcohol, we want to make sure that there are mindful alternatives. So basically we make non-alcoholic wine, spirits and cocktails that mimic the flavors of alcoholic versions so that you can easily moderate and transist between uh, no alcohol, low alcohol and full on alcohol. You started the company. Why did you start this company? It's a funny story actually. I, I decided back in 2017 that I wanted to not drink alcohol for 100 days. And uh, I was like, okay, I'm gonna do this. Uh, I felt like alcohol was slowing me down a little bit, so I don't mind alcohol. I, I think it's fantastic and the ritual and the drinks and the flavor and the social aspect. But I felt a little bit slowed down, you know, a little bit of headache sometimes. And uh, I decided, okay, for 100 days, no alcohol. And uh, I did that, but I realized it wasn't that hard not drinking alcohol, but it was hard finding alternatives. So I wanted to create products that made it super easy to be mindful uh, and to for anybody else to take 100 days without alcohol and, and just kind of lower that intake. That's actually true because I love the taste of alcohol. Right. So, and here I have a ish gin and tonic. That's now, right, yes. And I'm going to taste it because, <laughs> you know, I love gin and tonic. Yes. So let's see. All right, go for it. Wow, it's really nice. Right. Yeah, and it tastes just like alcoholic one that's exactly it. that's what we're trying to create so that there's no like there's no compromise right so you create a, a, a this one here is created with our with our ginish our London botanical spirit as we call it and basically it's juniper it's coriander seeds it's a little bit of um, orange zest and so on all the components that we that we identify with gin then we add a little bit of uh, shells from the seeds of chilies to give it some heat, uh -huh. right? So we can have it, it feels yeah. like a little bit of burn down there. So you have the botanicals, the burn, and then mix it with a tonic. You have a gin tonic. It's really nice. What Thank other you. products do you have? Well, so we have, uh, we have this one right here that I brought, which is uh, our Mexican agave spirit. So, uh, you know, it's a, it's a reposado tequila. Mm -hmm. So that's why we, we are true to the heritage of, of the Mexican agave. We use organic blue agave as the base here. Uh, and then we add different components like barley and bay leaf and a little bit of brown sugar and the shells of the seeds of chilies again. And a little bit of oak wood that gives it like that reposado feel like it's been on a barrel for about four months. So this one's really cool in like a, in a margarita, if, uh, if you like margaritas. Um, and then also we do, sorry, we do yeah wine and uh, you know sparkling wines we also have pre-mixed cocktails like a spritz and a mojito and stuff like that so really a lot of different products we have one of the most broadest ranges in the world and the most award-winning so we want to make good products we want to make enough so there's something for everybody so we all can celebrate together and you can even cheat people with this kind of because this <laughs> tastes like alcoholic yeah and we have really yeah we have uh, we did a, a party once in uh, in denmark for a big company, big uh, automobile company in Denmark, 300 people came to the party, mm -hmm. and uh, we had made an arrangement with uh, with with the company that uh, we were going to do a cocktail hour, and uh, and all the the, the 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 people came, about 300 people. They did not know that it was alcohol free, so we served them cocktails. So we did gin tonics, dark and stormy, and so on, all the classic cocktails, and they were drinking and were drinking, and they were just having a good time. We videotaped everything and we had a host and, uh, and they just uh, we went over and say, what are you drinking? I'm having a gin tonic, is it good? Oh yes, it's good. You already had three, can you feel it? Yeah, I can, I can feel it a little bit, <laughs> you know? So people had that placebo effect because they're like, the, the, what happens is because like you're experiencing it so close and so authentic that the, that the receptors in the brain will release the serotonin that you usually do when you drink alcohol. So that means that you automatically get kind of a, you get a buzz, uh, even though it's placebo. And I can, yeah, I can really feel it because I mean, when you sweep it, <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, you can yeah. feel kind of the alcohol. Warmth. Yeah, it kind of gives that warmth yeah. and that, which also is, and, and I'm glad you're saying sipping because when it comes to non-alcoholic cocktails, we want to make sure that you sip them. Mm -hmm. So it's not just something that you chuck like a lemonade, uh -huh. but it's something that you sip because it gives a little bit of warmth and yeah. so on, you know, and that's what you do with a real cocktail. You sip it and you celebrate and you toast and you, and you do that. And, and that's what we want to mimic that whole experience. 
and it, it really is. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Cheers. Thank you.